There, there is a silver foil variant of this, which, which I think is uh, kind of dumb, you know. <laughs> What is going on everybody? Torx through of Torx through Collectibles back here again today. We're going to have a look at one of the Rain House sets for this week's video. It's going to be the 2010 Marvel Heroes and Villains. I really do pretty much enjoy this set here. The artwork on here is pretty amazing. Um, so stick around for the deep dive. We'll get right into it shortly. But once again, thank you to all the new subscribers and all the current watchers who are watching and tuning into this channel here. So if you are not subscribed, Go ahead right down below, hit the little red subscribe button, give this video a nice little thumbs up, and without further ado, let's go. Alrighty, here we are. We are back down in a deep dive. We're going to have a look at the Marvel Heroes and Villains 2010. So this right here, this is the promo card right here. Um, let's see. So this one right here, um, there is no naming on the front there. Um, the only branding that's on the top here is that little, little foiling of Marvel. I'm not too sure if it's foil, but it is. Not sure if I can get that on there. There it is. Doesn't feel like foil. Just a little shiny black foil, I guess. It could be. There, there is a silver foil variant of this, which, which I think is, uh, kind of dumb, you know. <laughs> But nonetheless here, this right here, this focuses mainly on, I think this one right here mainly focuses on the art aspect of the card. Um, this, um, it's not separated by heroes and villains as, we, as we've seen in previous videos. This right here uh, mainly focuses on battles, but I think the shining um, part about the shining star or the best part of this set here is the artwork on here. Um, the little boarding right there is meant, I guess it's meant to look like pencil shading. Let's go ahead and uh, look at card number one here. Uh, it's meant to look just a bit like pencil shading. This right here is the back of the card here. Um, you can tell who's in it. Oops, sorry. You can tell who's in the card right there. Um, War Machine versus Iron Patriot. I believe this right here is um, the issue where it's at and who the artist is. Now this is the card stock. Um, not as rigid as the previous ones that we've seen, but none nonetheless, it doesn't feel like the the old sets where it kind of has a lot more give. It feels a little bit more sturdier. But let's go ahead and get right into it right, um, right now. So right here we got um, War Machine versus Iron Patriot right there. Got Thor versus Loki. It's a nice one there. Got the Hulk versus the Juggernaut. Or Scar, sorry. Versus Juggernaut. We got uh, Spider Man versus Sabretooth. Oh, sorry, not Sabretooth. Uh, Kane. Man, my, my naming is off right now. <laughs> uh, you got Ghost Rider versus Scarecrow. You got Nova versus Penance. It's a pretty nice card looking there. The artwork on this is really, 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 really nice. I do much appreciate the artwork on here. Wolverine versus Strife. And you got uh, Ares versus Nick Fury. You got Hawkeye versus Bullseye. Don't know who this one is. Um, that looks like U.S. Agent. The Unspoken. I'm not too sure who The Unspoken is. I haven't read too many of the um, Avengers comics right there. Uh, you got Miss Marvel versus, I would say that's Super Scroll or a Scroll or Captain Marvel later. Uh, Wonder Man versus Penance. We got uh, Deadpool versus the Skrulls. It's a very nice one right here. We got Wolverine versus Omega Red. We got Punisher versus. I'm gonna say who is that? Oh, it's Craven the Hunter. 
very nice depiction of Craven the Hunter there. Might be how he looked a bit later in the comic books. I know him to wear like the little leopard skin um, jacket from like back in the uh, from back in the old days. Um, don't know who these guys are. Gorilla Man versus Scourge. Gorilla Man. Hmm. Yeah, Iron. Yeah, Iron Man versus Whiplash. Very nice looking one there. We got Doctor Doom versus the Thing. We got Sabretooth versus Sasquatch. We got Nova versus the Scrolls or Super Scroll. We got Sakar versus I don't know who 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 is that? Tyrannus. Never read too much on the. Incredible Hulk there. Not too, not too familiar with the characters that's on there. Um, we got Iron Fist and Quan Yo Yaozu. Quan Yaozu. Again, I'm not too familiar with the Iron Fist verse. Um, character never really gravitated toward me. Um, he is cool in his own right. Just um, I'm. I guess I just haven't read too too many of his um, comic books there. But you know, it is a um, very popular character. We'll hope he makes a comeback in the MCU. Um, Nova versus Sphinx. I think that's Miss America and Henchman. Okay. Cool. So you got Strife. Let's say that's Wolverine up there. We got cable right there on the bottom. So X Force versus Stripe. Okay, very nice. It's a nice one as well. We got a uh, Dormammu versus Doctor Strange. That's a nice one. Ares versus War Machine. We got Wolverine and Armor versus the Brood. Armor's right down there getting. I guess uh, eaten by the brood there almost. <laughs> oh, armor. <laughs> we got uh, Daredevil versus Lady Bullseye. Miss Var Miss Miss Marvel versus Miss Marvel. This is what it says right there in the back. That's a very nice looking um, art right there. We got the Thing versus. I think that that was Golem. Clay Golem. Uh, Ghost Rider versus Blackout. Is that Thor versus I don't know who Gauntlet is. We got Rogue versus M Plate. Got Wolverine versus Magneto. That's cool. Spider-Man versus Mr. Negative. Okay. I'm gonna say that's Archangel. Somewhere right there on the bottom. Pyro. And I don't know who's on the bottom there. Vanisher. Archangel and Vanisher versus Pyro. We got Green Goblin and Spider-Girl. You got Cyber and Dakin versus Wolverine. That's pretty cool. You got Venom versus Moon Knight. You got Fin Fang Foom versus uh, the Hulk. I'm gonna say that's Cable versus the Brood. Oh, and and Bishop. Okay. Looking like Nick Fury up there. Also, <laughs> I was like, wait, that's weird. <laughs> um, Iron Man and Titanium Man. Hercules versus Ares. That's pretty cool. We got Nova. Monarch Starstalker. 
I don't know who that is. The Marvel Mythos is uh, not fresh in my mind. You got Punisher versus Bullseye. That looks like I have no clue. Havoc and Vulcan. You got the brothers. Havoc and Vulcan. That's cool. Havoc looks pretty cool. good in this one. So that's X23 and oh, Lady Deathstrike. Oh. I am blown away by the art here. This is a nice one here. I don't know who on Blastar is, but Rocket, Ra Rocket Raccoon looks pretty dope. Look at that. That's cool. Got the Red Skull. And Captain America, that's... It's a pretty dope looking Red Skull. Very menacing. Storm versus Sabretooth. Is that Night Thrasher and Midnight Midnight Spire? Never read too much on the New Warriors. Spread nice one right here. We got Wolverine versus Mystique. A Daredevil versus Electra. Um, Captain Universe? Nope, I'm wrong. Major Victory versus Starhawk. Wakandan Tribesmen is what it says. So you got Black Panther versus the Wakandan Tribesmen. We got Rhino versus the Fantastic Four. No, oh, Thing and Human Torch versus Rhino and Abomination. Oh, I'm going to fix that real quick. Put that off to the side. You got Red Hulk versus Spider Man. I say that's Ronin versus the Hand. All right, She-Hulk versus Ursa Major. Thor versus the Skrulls. Yeah, okay. I don't know what's going on over here. Who is this? Sage versus Purge. Father and Son, you got Wolverine versus Dakin. You got Red Hulk versus regular Hulk or Green Hulk. <laughs> well, this one's pretty cool. Wolverine, Sabretooth. This is the second Wolverine and Sabretooth card that we've seen here. This one's pretty cool. Moon Knight and Midnight. Looking one, uh, Ghost Rider, and who is that? <laughs> Hoss. I'm not too sure who um, Hoss is. I know Ghost Rider. Uh, we got Moonstar and Miss Miss Marvel. We got Punisher versus the Scrolls. Captain America versus Loki. Thor versus, I'm going to say that that's a frost giant. And I am correct. That's cool. Right, you got Iron Man versus the Winter Soldier. It's a nice one. You got Thor versus the Absorbing Man. Yep. Electro versus Spider Man. We got U.S. Agent and uh, Nuke. Okay. We got Nick Fury and Norman Osborn. Daredevil versus Bullseye. Spider-Man versus Morbius. Sabretooth. 
So that's Moon Knight and Scarecrow. Baron Zemo versus Captain America. And last card for the set here, you got Wolverine and Ruby Red. Cool. All right, so that is it. Only 81 cards in the set here. Um, let's go right back up. I'll give you guys my final thoughts, some ups, some downs, and ultimately where I will place this on the Torque Screw tier list. I'll see you guys right back up there. And that was a look at the 2010 Heroes and Villains from Rittenhouse. Now, there's a couple ups and a couple downs here. Uh, first, the negative, which I I struggled on the uh, trying to find names for this. I mean, I did have to refer to the, the, the back of the card a whole bunch because, uh, you know, like, I'm not very well versed on a lot of these characters here. Um, it's been a long time since, since I've read comic books, so I'm trying to find the uh, names here. I mean, it would it, it would have been nice if it was um, listed up on the front here. Um, maybe just, you know, somewhere just just a little just a just a little simple, maybe right down here on the bottom would have been pretty nice. Um, fortunately, you know, it is listed on the back here, but you know, if you were trying if you were just looking at, at the uh, card itself, I mean, you uh, might not know who are um, who are sorry who is in this um, card here so yeah I mean it would have been nice if we had this information right out here on the front but you know that's not a biggie um, you know card stock is it's okay I mean I, I guess I've gotten kind of spoiled with the uh, later sets but nonetheless I guess that is the only negative which I have for this I mean uh, I do wish that the that the uh, bordering here, I mean the, the bordering is cool, but I kind of do wish that um, where the uh, penciling is, I wish that was, you know, much like where where you can see that, that little shiny marble part. I mean, I do get that it's supposed to look a bit like, like sketchy, not like sketchy as in like suspicious sketchy, but you know, looking like it's like, like some nice little sketch work going on there, which is, I think that's the uh, shining point of this set here. But other than that, I mean, that's kind of it that I have for the negatives here. Um, positives. I mean, the artwork here is fantastic. I really enjoy the artwork here. I mean, nice colorful art. Let's try and see if we can get that into focus there. Maybe I can. There we are. All right. So you can see right there, Deadpool versus the Skrulls there. That's, you know, that's pretty nice. I do enjoy that a lot. That is the shining point of this set here. Rittenhouse made some the uh, Rittenhouse era sets. Um, some of them are kind of hit or miss, but this one right here, I think this one hits the mark here. This uh, very, to me, the Rittenhouse sets, I feel they're pretty undervalued or, you know, they don't, they don't get too much of it to do. Um, they're not as far as with the big boy like the uh, impels or the fleers or the upper decks um, I've always had a soft spot for the uh, for the written house sets because one they were very I think with today's current market that you would probably deem these as affordable um, now they do have a bunch of parallel sets but you know these sets, just just the regular best, the, like the, the regular base sets. I do think that these were affordable. The artwork is pretty cool. Um, some of the later sets, I mean, much like the uh, trends, they they do pull from like comic book covers or comic images. I mean, that's pretty par for the course nowadays. But yeah, the artwork on this one here, I believe, I believe these are originals for this set, which I really do appreciate. I think. Once again, the artwork is the shining part or the is what pulls this set, you know, look at that. It's what makes this set shine. So yeah, I mean, um, ultimately here where I would place this on my tier list, I feel this set deserves an A. I mean, I love the set here. 81 cards is for the base set, not 
Um, it, it doesn't have 100 cards, but you know, the artwork alone on, on here is enough to push it to an A. In my opinion, I do think that is that that's fair to put it up there. Now, um, from what I see here, I mean, I um, I wasn't too familiar with with the uh, parallel sets here, but then so I, I had to pull out the uh, had to go Google search some of the uh, checklists here. But I know for one, there is a parallel set here. Um, I think I spoke about it in the uh, deep dive here. But right where you can see the little Marvel sign right there. There is one where it's just it's just a silver foil on it, which you know uh, I think that's kind of dumb. <laughs> I mean it, it it really doesn't add too much to the set. I mean um again, you know, that right there, that's cool. I mean, yeah, just right here, I'll try and flash and you know, try and find an image of that one, but that basically right there where that Marvel logo is it's just in a silver foil variant i would say um you do have um what, what is it the uh marvel's most wanted that was a that was a another subset there you had the lent you had a lenticular flip card um you had the uh, trifold posters which was um i've i've seen a couple of the uh, trifold posters it's basically like a how, how would i explain it like you would take like these three three cards and it just kind of folds in on each other and then when you open it up it just forms into like you know just one large image there that was um its own subset there, there, there wasn't too much of it there um yeah i mean that is it you know what uh once again i do pretty much enjoy this set here um probably we're gonna have a look at more of the written house sets next week um, I do want to, you know, highlight some of the other sets from the the written house era. I think those are pretty undervalued there. But yeah, thanks again, you guys, so much for watching. If you have made it this far and you are still not sub, uh, if you're still not subscribed, right down below, go ahead and hit the little red subscribe button. Um, on your way out, you know, give this video a nice little thumbs up. Comment right down below. Let me know what you guys thought about this set here. Um, yeah, that is it. I will see you guys back next week with another one of the Rittenhouse sets. And I will see you guys back here next time. Thank you guys once again so much for watching.